All right. Welcome back, everyone. Ready for another deep dive? Always ready to dig in. Okay. So today we're looking at life in the Old West. Oh, interesting. But from like a really different angle. Okay. It's uh, it's from an article called 10 Facts of Why Life in the Old American West Was Good. 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 Right. <laughs> That's not usually the first word that comes to mind. No, right. You think like saloons, cowboys, shootouts. Lawless, dusty, dangerous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But this article is saying, hold on, maybe there's another side to the story. Okay, I'm intrigued. Right. Like what if for some people, life back then was actually good? Hmm. Well, I guess it all depends on your definition of good, doesn't it? That's a good point. That's what we're going to explore, right? Like what made life good back then? Okay, let's dive in. So the article starts off talking about adventure. Okay. And, I mean, you can kind of see it, right? Oh, absolutely. Wide open spaces, unexplored territory. It must have been incredible. Yeah, imagine just packing up your wagon, heading out into the unknown. Yeah, and just going, yeah. creating your own path, right? It's definitely appealing, even today, that idea of just striking out on your own. Totally. But it wasn't just about, like... The excitement, right? Oh, of course not. There's a whole other element of challenge. Exactly. I mean, just surviving out there in the wilderness was a feat. Oh, yeah. You couldn't just, like, Google how to fix a wagon wheel. Exactly. You had to rely on your own skills, your ingenuity. Be resourceful. Absolutely. You had to be Lucky. adaptable, self-reliant. Those were necessities. I talk about independence. It was baked into the way of life. And the article, it also mentions... um Land ownership? Oh, right. A huge draw for many. Yeah, like you could actually claim your own piece of land. The Homestead Act, for example. Yeah. Build a home. Make a life for yourself. A real chance to build something from the ground up. It's that classic American dream, right? Absolutely. Owning land, it meant stability, a legacy, a future. Yeah, and a level of freedom that a lot of folks just didn't have back then. That's another key point the article highlights. Freedom. But what did freedom really mean in the Old West? Well, in a way, it was freedom on multiple levels. I mean, you had the freedom from a lot of the rules and regulations. Like less government interference. Exactly. Right. But also, you had a social freedom. Oh, interesting. The West attracted such a diverse group of people, different backgrounds, beliefs. So you could really be yourself. Yeah. Break away from those traditional norms. Wow. It's like a whole new world out there. In many ways, it was. Of course, this freedom didn't come without its downsides. We have to remember... Life in the West was hard. Oh, yeah. It was definitely tough. There were dangers, natural disasters, disease, conflict. Right. We can't forget about the dangers. No, absolutely not. And this is where it gets interesting because the article makes a claim about crime. Okay. It says that actually violent crime was rare. Wait, really? That's what it says. And that when there was a need for justice, it was swift. Huh. That's so different from how we usually picture the Old West, like all those gunfights in the movies. It's a very romanticized image. Yeah. But think about it. Most folks were just trying to build a life. Make a living. Exactly. Starting a shootout wouldn't exactly help with that. Right. Plus, communities back then were often very close-knit. People looked out for each other. Exactly. It was a different kind of safety net. Makes sense. And the article also mentions... Um, the economy back then. Oh, okay. Like all those mom and pop shops. Right. A lot of local businesses. Supporting each other. Which makes sense, right? They needed to be self-sufficient. Yeah. Relying on each other, trading locally. It was a totally different system. Very different from the large-scale economies we see today. So, I mean, this article really does paint a different picture of the Old West. Definitely more nuanced than we often see. Like, maybe it wasn't all just hardship and danger. There were triumphs, too. Opportunities. A unique way of life. So having explored all of this, what's your big takeaway? You know, it makes me wonder, if you could go back, knowing everything we've discussed, the good and the bad, would you? Hmm, that's a tough one. It is, right? What aspects of that life might still appeal to us today? The self-reliance, the connection to nature, that tight-knit community. It's a lot to think about. It definitely is. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Until next time. And remember to keep those questions rolling.